You're watching Pro Picks Canada Media Limited, and I am James Kuzno in Vancouver, British Columbia. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Photography for Beginners. Today we're looking at wildlife photography, and I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks, as well as a few safety hints to help with your successful projects when entering out in the wilderness. The image that I'll be looking at, or that I'll be sharing with you, is entitled Beauty of the Wild Bison. This was taken along the border area of British Columbia and the Yukon Territory in the Northern Canadian Rocky Mountains. And this I thought was a perfect image to share with you because of the fact that it's one of my favorites of wildlife and throughout the series you'll see other wildlife images from the Arctic fox to grizzly bears, brown bears, uh, elk, moose, deer, you name it. Uh, we'll be looking at it throughout the series uh, when it comes to wildlife photography. Now, things that you want to keep in mind is something that I've said in previous videos, and that is that the gear that you're working with in your photography kit is not as essential as experimenting with the settings and the uh, manual options that you have in your equipment. When you're learning and really exploring your own style and your new, uh, sorry, your unique perspective of photography, that is very important. Everybody has a style once they've developed it. But at first, they tend to copy a lot of what they see other photographers doing. And that sometimes can be frustrating because you're not learning to create the image as it appears to you. So that's something that I pride myself on is just making sure that I try to bring the images without a lot of uh, enhancements or adjustments in software. I really want to try to capture it as it is. Now with this image, it was taken with a Nikon D610, as I said, up in the Northern Canadian Rocky Mountains, uh, an ISO setting of 800, an f-stop of 4.5, and an exposure of 1 over 50 with an 85 millimeter focal distance. So with capturing wildlife, it's essential to have a plan and to not take for granted that they look very calm and very slow. They, in this instance, the bison are just grazing and just very calm, but it doesn't take much to spook wildlife. So you want to make sure that you are, number one, never ever using food or other enticements. And that's whether or not you're trying to get them closer or to, you know, stage an image. You want to capture them in their natural setting. Do not teach them that humans are um, equal to food or that it means food when they see humans. You don't want that. And number two, exposing them to things that may not be in their natural diet can cause illness, which can spread amongst wildlife very quickly. So no matter what the case is, you want to just respect the wilderness, respect nature, and respect wildlife. Do not use food as enticements. As I said earlier, the wildlife can be easily spooked, and they can seem very calm, very slow, very docile and turn in just a moment. And wildlife can be very quick. I mean, whether it's a moose, a grizzly bear, or even the bison. If they're charging at you, you wanna make sure that you are a safe distance in order to make it to a safe point. When you are getting your equipment set up, you wanna keep that in mind, that you wanna have a safe and easy path to safety. Uh, whether it's your vehicle, whether it's a cabin, whether just regardless as to what your safety plan is, you want to make sure that you have easy access. You also want to be aware that as you're focused on your subject, other wildlife can come up behind you or in other areas that are going to block that path. So I highly suggest having a second person with you when you're out in nature and out in the wilderness. It's also in case you get injured or something happens that you are not stuck alone. If that's not an option, make sure that when you are going out in the areas that you notify someone when you are exiting your vehicle or heading out uh, and when you expect to be in contact with them again so that if you fail to reach out to them, they know that you may be in trouble. Okay, with that said, 
you want to make sure that you have your equipment set properly, whether it's on a tripod, whether you're capturing video with a shoulder mount, you want to make sure that you have the lenses that you require because you're not going to have a chance to get the animals or the subject to reset in between shots and in between takes. So make sure that you're ready. Make sure that you are either in uh, the mode that you want all of your settings on before you start snapping the pictures. Because again, once you capture those images, you want to make sure that you get the best possible images to really share the image that you saw in not only your camera but also in your mind's eye don't copy everyone else because you want to have your own unique style and again i like to try to capture it as uh, close to natural as possible without staging without uh you know a lot of enhancements and software uh Again, I've explained the settings that I had in this image and I could have adjusted differently to capture a different light, different shadow, but I really wanted to just capture the cool air. You can tell by the breathing of the bison with the frost that forms uh, and they are grazing. It is coming up on the first major snowfall, so they're trying to store up on that uh, nutrition and that really is the essential parts of starting to capture wildlife no matter what you're capturing whether it's wildlife whether it's nature whether it's macro photography of bugs or plants uh, cityscapes portraits again don't be afraid to use the manual settings because that's going to give you the best opportunity to learn is through experience once again, you're watching ProPix Canada Media, Photography for Beginners, and this image once more was entitled Beauty of the Wild Bison. I am James Kuzno. I remind you to please like, follow, and subscribe to keep up to date when we release more videos in this series, as well as videos on other topics of interest to you and your friends and family. Don't forget also, that you can order prints and other home decor items with these uh, images and that on it by searching ProPix Canada Media on fineartamerica.com. Take care, everyone. Stay safe.